in East Africa and around the world. It is beautiful when, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Masi Masika. I met Worship Factory through um, the vision bearer, Eugene, a couple of years ago as he was ministering and, you know, playing for House of Grace. My experience with Worship Factory has been uh, beautiful. It's a rare thing to find people that you connect with uh, spiritually and also musically. And, um, and so that has been my experience. I feel like I, I connect totally, you know, with Worship Factory in, in those ways that are very deep, you know, spiritually and musically, which is what I was called to do. And so, yeah, that has been my experience, you know, shared good experiences and bad experiences, good laugh, you know, ups and downs of life. And it's, it's been a good journey. Worship Factory for me is, is friends, family, but above all else, it's unity. It's, it's what the body of Christ should be, unity of different kinds of people together with their differences. Because I believe that where there is unity, God commands a blessing. And so that's what I see Worship Factory as a body of Christ that has unity to do things together and do exploits in the kingdom of God. What I'd really wish for Worship Factory is that God um, increases them. I believe that they are the voice of East Africa because God searches for them that worship him in spirit and in truth. I believe that Worship Factory have aligned themselves to what God is doing in East Africa. My desire is that, um, you know, that their spirit would be, infect they would be infectious all around Africa and the world, and that they would be heard and seen. That's my prayer for, you know, Worship Factory. I think what stands out with Worship Factory is um, his character. Um, integrity, excellence in what they do. And I can't compare their commitment with quite anybody. For real, they have real commitment um, to the work of God. I think sometimes we do it for the money, but they don't do it just, you know, for any other reason, but for God. The money comes second and, and I know it will flow in billions. And um, I believe this is the kind of excellence that needs to be modeled in Kenya in East Africa and around the world. It is beautiful when, okay. <laughs> it is beautiful when you see people serve God and it's a balance of who they are. You know, it's an overflow of who they are. I feel worship factor is that. They are, um, you know, what they sing is who they are. And that's what integrity is, that everything that you're singing about is what that you exude even in your life. And I'm proud of Worship Factory, what they have become and what they are becoming. I pray that Worship Factory will be had all around the world. I pray that um, they're, 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 they'll be visible around you know, Africa and the world, the face of Africa. <laughs> um, I pray that their vision will come to pass, that God will give them grace to stand the test of time, you know, um, that they will go through every season of their lives and be representatives of the gospel that God wants them to be. I pray that they will shine in this generation. This is what I want gospel music to be defined as what Worship Factory is.